and welcome to the Middlesex Chamber today. My name is John Guerin, and it's a pleasure to be with you once again as we talk about the Middlesex County Chamber of Commerce, its many activities, uh, its councils, its divisions, its volunteers, and today we're going to be focusing on one of the events, and the event in particular is Middletown's Car Cruise on Main. And we have with us as special guests for the program, Vice Chairman for the event, one Rich Greco. Rich, welcome. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Good to be back. We've, we've never spoken before. Oh, never. So, yes, anyway. <laughs> but, uh, and also with us from Napa is Andrew Marcelliano. Hi, guys. How are you? Good. Nice to see you, Andrew. Thank you. And one of the things, Rich is familiar with this, but uh, one of the things I usually like to do at the beginning of the program is have our guests introduce themselves, uh, give us an idea of what they do in real life uh, besides get involved with events like this. And uh, so with that in mind, Andrew, I'll just turn it over to you. Give us a little idea of what you do there at Napa. Well, I've been with uh, Napa for about three and a half years now. Mm -hmm. uh, started in New Jersey, came up to Napa, Connecticut about a year ago. Um, so unfortunately, I actually uh, came up here just after this car tr cruise last year. Okay. So I didn't get a chance to make it, but I'm, again, really excited to be here for this one too. But um, always been a car guy myself too, so Very always good. something that hits close to home. Very good. And you got roped into today's program. Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Very that good. wasn't too difficult to say yes. <laughs> Good. And Rich, how about yourself? Uh, I uh, am retired. I volunteer a lot of my time helping out with the car show as co-chair and chairing Motorcycle Mania, which we have another broadcast that we're doing. Mm -hmm. uh, in addition to Holladan, Maine, as you can see, I'm sporting the chamber hat. Yes, you uh, are. I do a lot of chamber <laughs> activities, and I'm also wearing the Napa logo to support our title sponsor, Napa, that took over for us three years ago. That's great. And, you know, we were searching for a sponsor, and well, you guys jumped in at, at the right time. It was perfect timing. Yeah, no, that was really great. And this year, when can we expect Middletown's cruise on May? That will be on June 14th. Okay. And if everyone looks at their calendar, that's a special day. Andrew and I know what it is. Yes. Do you know what it the is? The 14th of June should be memorable to a lot of folks out there, especially those who are veterans. <laughs> yeah. It's Flag Day. It's Flag Day. Right. Thus, the theme is going to be patriotic. And uh, there'll be a lot of red, white, and blue going around. Terrific. So, Excellent, excellent. And as far as an event like this one, Andrew, I'll turn this one to you. When Napa, you've been with them a few years now, you know, how, do they, how do they get involved with events like this in the community? Well, we do a lot across the country, obviously. Um, one here in Middletown, obviously, since our big distribution center is it's right around the corner from where this cruise night's going to be. So it's it's perfect for us. We really can't we can't say no to something like this. Mm -hmm. So for us, a lot of our stores are all independent ownerships as well. So when we do something like this and support the local, especially Middletown, just support all local business, it's perfect for us because that's something that we're really passionate about as well. Mm -hmm. So. Just a lot of common interests that we, uh, something that we really can afford not to be a part of. Oh, that's great. That's yep. great. And Rich, I know you mentioned to you how much you have, impressed, have been impressed and appreciative of them as far as the title sponsor role goes. But of course, there are many folks who help make this uh, possible. So maybe we could spend a few minutes giving them a little bit of a little bit of credit for sure. for their efforts. Yeah, some of our other sponsors, and I want to look at my sheet here to make sure I don't omit anyone, but uh, some of the other major sponsors, not the title sponsor, mm -hmm. like Napa, uh, Jackson Chevrolet, which yep. has been a local business here for over way over, older than I am, okay? <laughs> Well, right. that means over 25. Over 25, yes, yeah. Right. Yes, 50 okay. plus, they're probably 80 <laughs> years here. They've been here in Middletown forever. I think it's the only car dealership to survive. Uh, city of Middletown, mm -hmm. we couldn't run all our downtown events without the city, the, the Common Council, the mayor, uh, all the departments of Middletown help out, public works, you know, traffic, sit, the police, the fire department are on duty. Uh, Middlesex Chamber, of which yep. I volunteer a lot of my time, the downtown business district, uh, one of our stalwarts, Liberty Bank. Yep. Uh, let's see, those are the, uh, Apple Rehab has been stepping up the last couple of years, and a new one we got, which is uh, Change Incorporated. Those are our sponsors who pay a sponsorship or a fee, okay, mm -hmm. of $500 or more. 
Right. So I'll make sure I give them credit. That's great. That's great. Because, again, there are a lot of costs involved with putting something like this together. I mean, certainly the number of volunteer hours are tremendous. But uh, in terms of some of the things that you're putting together, it's not just a bunch of people together on Main Street. Um, <laughs> you have a few other things going on. It's a very coordinated effort of mm -hmm. mass chaos. Yes. <laughs> that's fairly well organized, as Andrew will see. Yeah. And, uh, you know, because we do have entertainment all night on stage. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have uh, a band coming in. We just changed, as of this broadcast, I'm not sure the exact name of the band, because it just changed that one of the groups we had booked uh, backed out. Okay. All right, so we have another group that's filling in okay. for them. So that worked out good. We have a halftime presentation. It's a pinup fashion show. Mm -hmm. Again, it's patriotic. Yep. Okay, so the theme, like I said, red, white, and blue, patriotic theme on that. We also, for, for this event, have um, some military vehicles. They'll be stationed uh, on the corner of William, because uh, it approaches near Maine, where they mm -hmm. took down Sperry Park there. Yep. So there'll be probably five or six military vehicles there. Nice. Okay, so there'll be a presence there. Uh, there will also be vendors all over the place mm -hmm. selling food, uh, anything to do with the cars or even politics. I mean, mm -hmm. er, anyone that wants a space, I think we've got a few insurance companies that are taking a booth. So we have vendors, food vendors, and product vendors right. in addition to all the great cars. I mean, and, of course, when we talk about Main Street in Middletown, it is a tremendous venue in terms of the big wide street that uh, is available down there. But we're talking about from Washington Street pretty much then all the way down to the green? All the way down to the green. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. And this year we're going to use some of the side streets too. Okay. Yeah, We used to put cars in the parking arcade behind the police station mm -hmm. and sometimes people drive in they don't want to stay in there and they turn around and drive out. Okay. So we're going to change a few things and that's important for our viewers to know okay. that uh, spectators can park for free. Yep. Okay. They don't have to give a donation. If they want to, we welcome donations. Sure. And we'll go over the cause where that goes to. But mm -hmm. uh, if they want to come in and watch, there are a couple key parking areas. One is the Middlesex Mutual Parking Garage. Right. Okay, right off of Broad Street there. Uh, the other one is the parking lot off of Broad. It's near in the corner where St. Sebastian Church is. Mm -hmm. That lot there in Kid City. Uh, the other one is Malili Plaza. Yeah. Okay. And we opened up the parking arcade for general parking. Okay. So okay. those are areas that people, if they want to come and they're not bringing a car that fits our cutoff category of 92. Okay. So anything pre-92. So if you have a 93 car or 92, you can't get into the show with it. Okay. It's strictly reserved for 91 and older. And older. Right. Very good. And we do require or request a $5 donation to come in. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, where that goes, people always ask. Where that goes is to the Middletown Mentor Program, into Park and Rec, and to the Chamber Workforce Program. Very nice. So. Very nice. And Andrew, you mentioned that Napa gets involved with these type of programs pretty much countrywide. Uh, you know, so uh, is there anything from the sponsor's point of view that you like to see uh, in terms of what you've seen so far with, you know, the uh, this this particular show and how it intertwines with what you do? Um, I'm not quite sure I understand. What do you well, in, in other words, in <clears throat> terms of how you feel, how Napa feels about this one, I mean, obviously the sponsorship is there and, you know, the support is there. But in terms of, um, we talk about vendors, in many ways, as a title sponsor, you're also very much a vendor in terms of supplying so many people with things for their cars. 91 and earlier mm -hmm. and certainly Only. newer. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, I mean, we, like I said, we're countrywide. And just, just with Middletown as a whole, I mean, that's our distribution center for five states here. Mm -hmm. So we cover Vermont to Rhode Island, down to New York, to Connecticut, obviously. Um, so we have, a, we have about 90 stores out of Napa, Connecticut here. Um, and throughout, throughout the country, there's over 60 distribution centers right. and over 6,000 stores. Wow. So for us, getting involved in something like this obviously is going to be uh, at the top of our list and because most of these guys who are here are customers. Mm -hmm. These are the guys that we really cater to that come to our stores on weekends looking for that, you know, that little part that nobody else can get because <laughs> you know, we have the guys behind the counter that can actually uh, find those rare parts and sure. make it work. Sure. Andrew, so. how many people work out of the Middletown outlet, do you know? 
uh, just out of our distribution, our distribution center. center. I believe we have over 100. So you got 100 um, people, local people employed there yep, too, local, which is great. Yep, very That's from great. all over the state, but a lot that come right from right from Middletown and mm -hmm. Cromwell, definitely around this area. Yeah, so very good. Yeah, yeah. Somebody was looking for that 1948 Hudson. I don't know if. Hudson's were 48. But anyway. <laughs> we probably got on the shelf. I was just going to say, that's, that, that's the amazing thing in, in terms of a distribution center like that. I can't imagine what inventory must be like. Oh, it's, it's very large. Uh, <laughs> we have, uh, just in Milltown alone, we have over $10 million worth of parts. Wow. So it's, uh, it's a lot of inventory. But, I mean, you guys know alone, I'm sure, with your own personal cars, everything is growing. You have... <laughs> Cars are getting a lot more technologically advanced. A lot more things can break. Um, um, just a lot more things can go wrong. So that's just a lot more parts on the shelf that we got to stock for you guys. So. Well, I think one of the things that we've talked about in the past is a lot of people who go to the classic car shows mm -hmm. uh, are, are out there saying, "Oh, I loved it when there was actually a carburetor. When there was actually, oh, yeah. you know, it was it was so much easier to work under the hood." I you hear know. It every day. <laughs> Every day. I Nobody. always said, when you can lift up the hood and jump in. Yeah, <laughs> can't the, do that. You can't anymore. do that now. There's no room. You can't even put a foot in there. Oh, yeah. it, it is. It's just amazing. And when you talk about older cars, any idea what the, I don't know if you know at this point, the oldest car that you might be expecting to, to show up at that point? Last or? year, we had a gentleman that trailered in a vehicle. I think it was a 1903. Wow. I didn't. Wasn't sure they make cars that far back. No, they made motorcycles. <laughs> that was yeah. the first thing. I think it was a 1903 or 1908. I, some, it was. It was. It was old. That's fantastic. It was old. We're supposed to have two of them, and for some reason, only one showed up. Okay. Okay. Yeah. But Napa had a big presence last year. I mean, you had one of the race cars. We did. We yeah, did. The race yeah. car there Absolutely. with the trailer and some of the crew. I remember that. that was yeah, we had uh, Ron Caps is our funny car driver, and mm -hmm. we had one of his replica cars there okay. last year. So, yeah. yeah. And are there any surprises this year, maybe, that We're you know, you're holding back? We're working on them again. Okay. <laughs> again. I knew you were going to do something. Yep. Yep. You know, we always try to so. up it one notch somehow, sure. change things, you know, around. Oh, that, that is but, great. Uh, yeah, this, I mean, it certainly has been spectacular. Roughly how many vehicles did you get last year? We figure somewhere between 1,000 and 1,200. Wow. But uh, I, we're trying to negotiate. And if there's anyone out there listening, I'm talking to Gary, <laughs> we always can look or need volunteers and my wife reluctantly I always rope her in oh, but uh, we have these digital clickers mm -hmm. and so we're gonna put a couple people at the gate I found I talked to Kathy today she found them so if we bought them we didn't get to use them yet we're gonna put a couple people at the gate and they're gonna be clicking as they come in nice. whether they go to the green or the side streets which we're gonna use some of the side streets this year mm -hmm. and the main drag we're going to try to get a real accurate count sure. on how many come. So. so it is a good idea to have a very wide, open main street like oh, yes. Middletown yeah. has for an event like this. Uh, I, I've got to say it, it's uniquely qualified as, as far as the location goes for this type of event. And when you talk about Washington all the way down to the South Green, you've got that huge open space. And you're not just using the stalls. I understand you're using the center of the street. We're using the center of the street. We're using uh, upper court, not upper court, lower court, mm -hmm. okay, for about half of it because we got the parking garage there. Right. We're using, uh, we can't use Dingwa. We use an MLK. Yep. Uh, we're using part of, of William for the military vehicles. Right. And, of course, the green, old Church Street. Mm -hmm. And just one thing that I, I talked to Andrew about, and we talked about at the last meeting, mm -hmm. is, you know, we, we're, we're happy with seeing people come. Yep. Please don't come too early. Because <laughs> Andrew knows what happens if you got a muscle car. You come early and you let it sit and idle. Sure. You have a tea kettle, basically. Yep. yep. All right? Yep. So what we're, we're trying to do, don't hold me to this, and, but we're trying to have the gate manned a little bit earlier. Mm -hmm. And if people really insist they got to come early, we'll probably take collections and put them on the green. Don't go on Main Street. I'm mm -hmm. going to say it again. Don't go on Main Street because the guy in the striped shirt, that's me <laughs> in a golf cart. <laughs> and there'll probably be one other one there. We're going to be looking for that. Sure. Okay. And you will get a ticket. Mm -hmm. It will be an expensive night for you, not only the five dollar donation, but you're going to get a parking ticket. Sure. And sure. there's a couple reasons for it. Andrew works full time. Yep. 
I don't. Yeah. Some people come, maybe they work second shift, mm -hmm. and they want to come early and park, but, you know, Andrew, if he has a business on Main Street, wants his customers to come to the door. Right. All right. He also wants his workers to be able to leave sure. when it's time. And if you're pulling in on Main Street and taking their parking space, it makes it very difficult. Sure. So please don't come too early. I mean, well, 4.30 the, it starts. I was just going to say, it's probably a good idea to figure out when they should arrive. So yeah. 4.30 would be an ideal time for the early birds. Or even closer to 4, we might be able to help them. Mm -hmm. The whole issue is shutting down Main Street. Right. The police force switches their crews over around 3.30, I believe. Mm -hmm. So there's the shift there. So it's getting them to close the streets, you know, getting Main Street clear, getting people in place to park cars, yep. people in place to flag, to collect. It's a big operation. Sure. And, and it's all volunteers. Yeah. And, those, and pretty much with this, and I mean, obviously we, we've talked about motorcycle mania, and <laughs> motorcycles are usually a little smaller uh, but when you're talking full-size vehicles and you're talking a thousand of them on Main Street, that that takes a lot of a lot, a lot of, of space. A lot of space, yes. You know, and pretty much with uh, with the folks who do bring in cars, especially the the older vintage cars or the reproductions that have been uh, out there, they like to stay with their vehicles and they're very happy to show people what they've done. Oh yeah, a lot of them will, uh, and Andrew's seen it, will bring their their books. Basically, a whole bunch of pictures, right? Yep. And I've got my son. Well, one can't come because the car doesn't have a motor, and that's in Rhode Island. The <laughs> other one lives locally, and he's got a 68 Firebird, and we built that car frame up. Wow. So, you know, we had it painted, it put a different motor in it, yep. all new upholstery. It was a lot of work and time went into that car. Mm -hmm. And he's, he's had that car since right after college. Yeah. yeah. And he's not a real youngster, but a little older than Andrew. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> but uh, a lot of time, a lot of effort. But we do ask, you know, if you park your car and you don't come alone, go to the restaurants and mm -hmm. spend some money because that's the reason we do these summer events. Sure. The $5 don donation that I mentioned that, that goes to the Middletown Mentor Program, that goes to Park and Rec and the, the Workforce Program at the Chamber. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's the gate take for us. But the restaurants, they need a gate take, sure. too. They, they need people to go in there, sit down, to eat, right. have something to drink, and patronize their, the establishments sure. there. And, of course, I'm sure it's true in a lot of other shows, uh, too, when people do come down. Obviously, they like to see what others have done with their cars. But you just have people who like to just come and see what's going on. They may not be, you know, bringing a car down to display. Uh, for, for things like that, where are they going to park, and where should they head on Main Street? Where, where, where should they? What should they look at as a as a venue for Main Cruise on Main? Well, they're they're welcome to walk up and down. I mean, when else can you walk up and down Main Street, mm -hmm. the center of a town, not worrying about a traffic light getting run over? <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right. And you know, it's this is like a, the motorcycle event is a family event. Mm -hmm. You'll see a lot of kids there. I know that the Y is doing a special thing down their end mm -hmm. for kids. I mean, in the past, we've had face painting for the kids. Uh, people walk with their pets. Uh, please bring them on a leash, though. Yeah. Good, you, know, good you don't know how some pets are going to react to people. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we're, we're not saying everybody bring one, but if you find it necessary to bring your pet, you know, make sure you pick up after your pet. Uh, make sure they're on a leash and just enjoy. You know, the display that Napa puts up, the rest of the vendors. And, of course, it's all, it's all about the cars. Mm -hmm. sure, you know, sure. the people are, as Andrew knows, are very, very uh, willing to talk about all the time they put in. Always. And the effort. And, you know, you hear it, your people hear it at the store I all the time. I hear it all the time. Yeah. And everybody's passionate about something different in the car world. Mm -hmm. So, it, um, you know, it could be anything. It might just be a 68 GTO, and that's all they care about is 68 GTOs. Right. Somebody else, it's a Firebird. You never know. Mm -hmm. So when you get everybody in a venue together, and who knows, it could be your neighbor that you just stumble down the street. Turn out he's got a 67 Mustang. Mm -hmm. You had no idea. But now you, you can talk to him. You can build a relationship there, and you might find somebody else with the same interest. So sure. it's cool. That's, it's that's a great. lot of fun. And what sort of things does Napa bring to the show besides 
possible special. <laughs> uh, we um, we obviously are going to be setting up. We have a very very large area that we're going to set up. Mm -hmm. um, we are bringing 300 uh, buckets. Actually, they're just big five gallon wash buckets that are going to be filled with all sorts of goodies and washes and waxes and keychains and all sorts of stuff that are going to be going for the what first 300 that Correct. come in rich yeah. wow. so those are going to be given away that's all just freebies just goes to them it's nice. don't have to do anything but show up so it's uh i mean other than that we're going to have a bunch of our guys who are going to be there talking to everybody and Super. making it a good time oh that's great i know i got some stuff last year from scott Did you? uh one of the waxes the little spray bottles yep. Yeah, it smells like peppermint or something. Yeah. Every time yeah, I, I, I clean my bit. bike, it's like, I think I what's that one? smell? It's like, <laughs> <laughs> it's, did I spray the right stuff on? You know, yeah. I was, why am I using peppermint? Yeah. But uh, yeah, so the products they bring are great. Mm -hmm. And you'll see other vendors with products too that, you know, they, the new products, of course, are always, always out there. But, you know, some of the tired and true ones are there. And we get a lot of repeat vendors too That's that, that comes. And we do have... Uh, new vendors that are showing up this year mm -hmm. that have never been. In fact, I looked at the names a couple of times to figure out what they're selling. But for people that are interested in coming as vendors, we do screen them. Right. We right. have a screening process. You have to apply. Uh, you have to fill out the form. If you're a food vendor, you got to be inspected by the health department. Mm -hmm. uh, any other vendors get inspected. Right. You know, we check you out. We just don't let anybody else in because we do have rules. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Well, again, we're at such a large family event. You know, there are so many people down there on Main Street. Uh, and, of course, we talk about the people on Main Street. We talk about the date, which is June 14th. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, because it's an outdoor event, there is that outside possibility that weather doesn't cooperate. If that happens, what do we do? Are we talking about the R word or the S word? We're not going to get neither. snow, right? Neither. We're not uh, talking about it either. In not June, happen. I don't think we have to worry about snow. Unless you're at Mount Washington. That's, oh, that's true. That's true. <laughs> Foot that's of snow. Um, we, the following Wednesday, which is the uh, 21st. The 21st, okay. Yeah. So it follows pretty much what we've been doing all these years. Yes. And in terms of rain dates, because uh, how many years now is it for the car show? This is um, 20th. 20th. Wow. Yeah, 20th car show. Okay. Ooh, I don't think years. we've had many th uh, postponements in terms of weather. I don't, I don't know of any, but mm -hmm. I wasn't really tracking till I got involved four or five years ago. Sure, sure. Yeah. Um, but in, in general, it's beautiful on Main Street. In Sun general. always shines in Middlesex <laughs> County. <laughs> oh, right, Larry? <laughs> I have heard that once yes. or twice, yes. <laughs> but uh, we certainly uh, are, are hoping that people can make it down there. And again, 4.30 is pretty much the starting time. Correct. And that goes until? Till 8.30. Till 8.30. And somewhere close to around quarter of 8, 8 o'clock is when we do the awards. Okay. Okay. Uh, the responsibility of the awards are our sponsors. Mm-hmm. Okay, the ones that pay the $500 or more fee, sure. they take, get to give out the awards, and we sure. do a little picture-taking session. And, nice. You know, and what type session. of awards, uh, Andrew? What kind of things do they, do they look to we are, congratulate people Napa's for? Napa's doing the best in show this okay. year, so we yeah. are going to be, we're honored to do that for sure. Yep. So um, there are some other ones that are going to be, uh, that are going to be really in high regards also. Mm -hmm. so. yeah. and, and they're plaques. We, what we give out is a plaque. Nice. Okay, and they get their picture taken with... Andrew, if he's an the yep. sponsor, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So, that's fantastic. That's fantastic. Yeah. Again, the the number of people who are involved. We should probably mention every volunteer <laughs> individually, oh, right? Yeah. For this one, we probably get <laughs> fifty. It's it's sometimes I think it's easier getting them for the car show. Okay. Uh, you know, everybody's got this other image of people at my other show, but uh, I don't have a problem. Yeah. You know, with it, you know, sometimes you got to remind people of what's proper etiquette. Mm -hmm. You know, don't turn your motor on and run, rev it high for three minutes while, while you know, someone might be sleeping upstairs downtown. Right. You know, but uh, for the most part, uh, we don't allow burnouts. In the years I've been involved, I've never seen one burnout mm -hmm. at all. You know, it's, it's not that kind of show. You know, it's a very big area, but a crowded area. Sure. And we do ask that you kind of stay to the close to the end. Usually after the awards, Andrew, everybody starts, you know, yeah, sure. filing out. Sure. And it's a little safer. But uh, sure. safety is our number one concern, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. in addition to having a good time. Yeah, oh, definitely. And it's, uh, it, it is an event 
if you haven't ever been to a cruise on Maine, it, it, it's something you, you really should see at least once. So this might be the year to get down there and take a look at it. It's Flag Day. Uh, couldn't ask for a better day and mm -hmm. for a great theme of the red, white, and blue. And uh, we, we're really encouraging everyone to participate. And the referee will make sure <laughs> <laughs> that everything goes smoothly. But uh, you know, I coach. So I hate. I used to hate referees. <laughs> <laughs> I can believe, be, you can be well, wrong half yeah. the time or right half the time, right? <laughs> I believe we've had that discussion. Yes. yes. But uh, no, I, I, we're about. I think down to about the last two minutes of the program here at this point. So. Are there any last-minute thoughts, something that we might not have touched on so far from either of you that you'd like to make sure our audience is, is aware of? I'll Anything? go first and give Andrew a chance to okay. think of something there. Um, it is, like you said, it is a patriotic theme, so we will have some military vehicles there. Uh, you might see some other vehicles or people on roofs, that's all I'm going to say. Okay. Uh, public safety, like I said, is a big issue. Mm -hmm. We want to ensure that all the participants and spectators are safe. Yep. So we do block off streets with vehicles. Okay. But uh, also, uh, I plan on doing a little something near the award times to honor our, our veterans. Mm -hmm. okay, it's Flag Day. What, what better opportunity uh, than people that serve this country? Excellent. Okay. Excellent. Andrew? Just, okay. just leverage off that Flag Day thing, too. I mean, Napa has been part of the Intrepid Fallen Heroes Fund for a long, long time. Uh, we're going to do it again this year. Napa, Connecticut does their own sponsorships throughout the year where we, we, we just bought, I think, over 500 T-shirts that we're going to be um, just selling at different events. We do stuff up at Stafford Speedway. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're going to be getting rid of these T-shirts and all of those proceeds uh, go to the Intrepid Fallen Heroes Fund. Just at one Stafford race last year, we did over $7,000. Nice. That went just in T-shirt sales that just went out the door to them because that's what's important. Excellent. So, again, just something local that we like to be a part of. That's great. That is great. Well, Andrew Marcelliano from Napa, thank you for being with us. Thank you. Rich Greco, Vice Chairman of Middletown's Cruise on Main, <laughs> thank you for being with us. And to you, our viewers, all I can say is I hope you get a chance to enjoy Cruise on Main this year. It should be a great event. And for the Middlesex County Chamber of Commerce, I am John Guerin saying thank you and see you next time.